Hello everybody and today I'm going to show you where to update your spindle speed, feed rates, um, and a couple of little parameters that are needed to mill the wrench shape on our Benchmill 6000. So in order to do that, we're going to create, once you have your toolpath created, or you can do it prior to creating your toolpath, you can right click and go to edit. Now once you're in here, you can see that the tool that I have selected is just 3 it's flat end mill. We want it at a 2000 RPM spindle speed. Now you'll notice that it does go down and it will adjust some of these parameters. Because the wrench shape is relatively easy to mill, we can decrease that spindle speed and then change the cutting feed rate to 40 inches per minute. We can then use that also here for our lead ins and lead outs. Uh, the ramping feed rate, uh, we, can, we can probably update that to about 25 keep it a little bit on the lower side but now these parameters are all adjusted for what we need the ramp spindle speed we can change that also to 2000 as well and now we have the parameters set up that are needed to change the spindle speed ramp um, sorry the and the cutting feed rate those are two pretty important things that we needed to change now to create a different little bit of milling pattern uh, if we want to kind of adjust how quickly we want to cut, we can change our step downs, our step over, and in order to do that, we can look into this um, fourth tab over here where it says passes. We could change our maximum step over, so this is 0.35625 inches. Now, if that's a 3 8 bit, we're uh, cutting at a pretty good amount of it. Let's see, let's just take a look. All right, so 0.375 is 3 eighths, and if we do 0.35625 divided by that, all right, so we're looking at 95% of the step over of that tooling in order to do this. That's the maximum step over. So we're, that's pretty good. We wanna keep that engagement like that. The step downs are, are what we can also change. So if the step over isn't close to 90, 95%, well, we can up it to be that, but it is there. The roughing step down. So for this, I'm gonna click it, and for multiple depths, and change it to about a quarter of an inch to maybe a half inch in some cases. It depends on how much roughing we're doing. This machine is able to handle it. I've tried it, and it seems to be fine at that RPM and feed rate. So we can do that, and you can also change it to use even step downs instead. So with this, it's gonna go down quarter inch, quarter inch, or whatever's left over, that's less than that, it will cut. Or we can break it down evenly, that is up to you. If it helps to go a little quicker, or you think it's gonna make it a little bit nicer of a pattern, use even step downs. Uh, I'm trying to think what else there is. Those are the two big things. The ramp angle is another one. I like to keep this around like eight degrees or so. I feel like that ramp angle is a little bit nicer. With the wrench shape, we could probably go closer to 10 degrees. Let's take a look at that. And I'm gonna hit okay for all this. And there you have it. So this is just a little pocket that I was making for something for trying out all these cuts. So this is gonna give us a pretty good engagement, a nice ramp angle, and a pretty good feed rate. Uh, those are what I kind of recommend, but as we go through the project, we may be adjusting these settings a little bit more. All right, so that's updating your step over, step down, and your helix ramp angle. Have a good day there, everybody. Bye.